Hey YouTubers, I'm just here today to tell you guys that I just picked up a little part for my car. It's a uh, Megan Racing under brace. Uh, it's supposed to um, keep the car's rigidity uh, and uh, prevent flexing under hard cornering and uh, launching. So it's supposed to help out uh, with uh, traction as well. Uh, I got it used, but uh, the guy that I picked it up from um, didn't even install it. I guess he test fitted it only. He had an R18. Uh, it's a base Civic Coupe. And I'm going to put this on my SI. Um, here's the four bolts and washers that come with the, the Megan Racing Brace. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it on, install it, and uh, see if it makes any difference. Alright, I'm underneath my car and uh, I just uh, finished uh, installing the Megan Brace. Uh, it's really simple actually. Um, here are two bolts. These are 17 millimeter. And uh, you could take them out really easily with the. Uh, I, I used this, my impact. And then there are four smaller bolts. These are 12 millimeters. And these are the um, longer bolts that uh, comes with the Megan brace. So uh, you would uh, need to use the longer bolts because the original ones are uh, short and doesn't compensate for the additional space that the Megan Brace uh, added. So uh, it's really simple. It's uh, two, four, six bolts total. And um, you're set. I still haven't torqued these uh, bolts in yet, but uh, that's what I'm gonna do next. Okay, after some research, I found out that uh, the big bolts in the front, towards the front of the car, you should torque them to 76 foot-pounds and the four smaller bolts, the 12 millimeter bolts uh, towards the rear of the car, you should torque them down to 46 foot-pounds. So I have my torque wrench here. Uh, it's ready set at, let's see here, 76. Okay, so uh, I bolted, I torqued this uh, bolt down to 76 foot-pounds as well as this one. And uh, these, I just hand tighten them because um, 46 uh, foot-pounds seems to be uh, too much. So I don't want to mess any uh, threads up, so I just hand tighten these four. These four. Alright. And uh, if any of you guys are worried that a race header may um, have issues with the strut bar, and here's proof that um, you won't have any issues. This is my uh, Skunk 2 Mega Power racing header. And as you can see here, there's plenty of space. So, um, perfect fitment. You don't have to worry about any uh, fitment issues bolted right on without any modifications.